individual, I'm a, I'm a black body understanding how um, the bigger picture of colonialism, a lot of times when we look at it, we just look at it through slavery's eyes, um, which, is, which is big enough in itself, but there are many other layers. And looking at it through these commodities, uh, particularly for me, gold was important because gold is usually, in the modern age, it's what brings a lot of joy to people. It's what defines the wealth of a, of a country. Actually, there's, there are layers of history behind that of which I'm involved in directly and indirectly. And so it's, it's, it's an education. From what I've seen already, we've worked in some schools and what was clear, I mean, just in the class I was in, um, in North London, is that there were children from all over the world. And for them, every part of, whatever world, part of the world they were from, gold has interacted and the story of colonialism and gold affects them in some kind of way. So what was great to see is how it opened up their eyes into understanding how they are connected to the world. And I think that's the important thing they can do nationally. I think it's an important part of history that we often ignore, but right now we really do need to understand.